Good morning from District 4. We are going to get started with a little food day. We are going for some Moon Rio at Kong A. Very famous, a staple, iconic Moon Rio spot in District 4. We're about to roll up right now. Actually, now I'm on the right road. Yeah, here it is. I thought I was on the wrong road. Sorry, I have not perfected uh, parking and uh, making a video, so probably just had to cut that. Chào cậu nghe. Hôm nay có thể lấy quay phim được không? Rồi, cảm ơn coi nha. Oh, cái này do heo. Này giới thiệu là do heo. À. So you can see her right here. She got all of that pork knuckle and pork shank right here. She got all these bags ready to go. Really, what I love though, oh, she got a different part of the actual like, I guess like leg of the pork. Her chalo here is really, really good. But it's her reel that sets this place apart. Let's go around and check it out. But first, look at this place. You're kind of like on a corner. And over here, you can see just a nice little street. We're actually one street away from the up street. So if you go over a street right here, you get all the famous snail spots that open up at night. Oh, real. You love And this is it. This is the magical stuff. This is like what you come for the actual real so that's what's going to be like your shrimp paste with your pork it's going to be the egg it's all cooked together and what you can see about hers is i think she like stir fries it in some oil it gives it a, a, a beautiful texture that you don't get other places yeah yeah <coughs> Uh, no, home, home, gonna like wheat. Wheat? Yeah, wheat, wheat. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Wheat, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. And there it goes more. Now you can see all these little. Actually, I don't know why you're looking at me. Look here. You got all these, like, little. I guess little buckets right here. And these are full of her ingredients. It's Sunday. She's gonna do a lot of business today. It's gonna be one of her busiest days. So we're lucky here to film. But this is like one will have her blood kicks in it, one will have tomatoes, one will have the actual real, like I was talking about. All of these are going to be full of stuff to go, but enough talking. Let's get a bowl. Yeah, Joy. Oh, that way. That way. Oh, yeah, yo. Oh, she got a little, almost like a little wood splinter into her finger. Oh, I hate that. So look at all the good stuff here we got here. Look, this is what it's all about right here. So this is the mum thumb. But what's special about here, you get these small little bowls. So what you do, is you can kind of create it like you do your mundao, mundam, which is just a little bit. And put a little tack in it. Alright. Then... <laughs> just a little sugar. Yeah, rau hấp. Oh, got it. Hop Roy. Oh, two. And it's easy. You get in here. You just stir it up. And so now I can like dip things in here. I like that so much better than putting in the broth because you see they work so hard of it. She got it over her wood down there. Joy. 
Ừ. Còn nhất. Ừ. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. So we'll be getting here. Oh, I forgot we actually got the tofu in here. Look at these tomatoes. Big old, thick, just flavorful, juicy, like Roma tomatoes. You got the piece of pork back here. Got the chai. Oh, yeah. Look at this. 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 And it's stuck in here is all those blood cakes. They give you a lot of blood cakes here. Like a lot, a lot. Let's go though. Not only is it special that you kind of get that, that side little bowl for the mum thumb, but what I really like about here is sometimes when I want a lot of flavor, purple and real, how it's different than others, sometimes it can be light, it's flavorful, it's, it can be milky and very aromatic. But this is just pure punch on flavor and oil. You can see the oil droplets in this. literally coats the mouth as it goes down it's so oily so rich it may be too heavy for most people but i just have days where i crave it and i have to have this unreal like it's just different from anything else and no unreal is complete the uh, nukmia little sugar cane juice mm. and look at that have you ever seen a reel like this just like dripping with juices and oil coming through It's actually just like a pork overload. You get the fat, it's not in your mouth. You get just a little bit of texture, a little bit of chew to it. But for me, it's a just a touch of egg. It's so heavy on the pork compared to the other things, the, the pounded crab paste and the egg. Or almost the, the second thing here, it's all about the pork. You gotta take advantage of being able to dip. That salty funkiness is exactly what you need on a big, heavy oily bowl of Bunreal like this. Find it complements each other beautifully. So using the blood cake from the duck, again, showing she cares about you. And they're massive here. So because she makes them so massive, they're not really gonna get dried out. You see, you got that jiggle factor to it. You got all that good vegetation in there. The only way you can do it for me, you gotta get it steamed. But she gives you the good stuff in there. She gives you like the, the yipka. I'm trying to think what it is in English. I can't remember right now, but the main thing is, you get the water spinach, it's been shredded and then steamed. And then that's the most important thing to have. You have one real. And look at the size of the pork they give you here. That's close to the size of my face. Unfortunately, I have a big head. If I had a normal size head, it'd be as big as my head. Cool. I don't know how she does it. Every time I've come here, the meat's not overcooked. The skin, fat, cartilage little piece, always melt in your mouth. I don't know how it's cooked perfectly every time. That's just years and years of experience. You gotta appreciate it and respect the game and time and effort put into that. But a noodle dish is nothing without noodles. I hit the spot. Let's get our bill. Get out of here. Tin tin chị ơi. Well, maybe here in a second they're getting busy. Hold on. Yeah, tin tin chị ơi. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 68. So the actual drink was eight. The bowl was only 60. Con come on, con yeah. Ah, con đã win rồi. Cô bán bao nhiêu năm? Ba mươi bốn năm. Ba mươi bốn. Ok, wow. Năm tám mươi tám. Tám mươi tám. Năm một nghìn chín trăm tám mươi tám. Ôi dạ hả? Dạ. Còn cảm ơn cô. Muốn riêng còn nhé. 
So you heard it from her. Had to ask my my question is like how long have you been selling? But here it is. Just like a little home right here on a corner. I'm about to get hit by bikes. Like I said, it is Sunday. It's the busiest day. Look at this. She opened maybe 20 minutes ago, and she is. This is probably the, as dead as you'll see almost all day. I've, this is as less crowded as I've ever seen it here. Good spot, you like heavier, oilier one reel? Here's your spot, let's get on the bike, let's ride. We got more food to eat, let's go. Oh. Okay, it's about three o'clock. And what happens at three o'clock? You have Chu Tai here. He opens up for, he does bok tian, which is like the fried up little radish cake. But what I really like here is he does a nui tin, which is like a pasta that's fried up. But right across from a, well, shoes, I guess. Is it really only shoes? Oh, just a big old shoe center. You come here, one way street. So you gotta come from this way. If you pass them by, and you gotta look for this place right here. Just opening up, already got customers on the other side, eating it up. Let's see what he's doing. He's frying some up, getting a little pre-order going. So you can see what he's got. we got this right here. That will be his pre-fry. So he's gonna do that. And then he's got this one over here, which is where when you place your order, he'll come over here and fry it up even more. So he's actually been here over 20 years, I do believe. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of questions I can't ask in Vietnamese that I already know, because I don't want to keep repeating myself in Vietnamese. That's the problem. I communicate, I just don't know enough to keep talking. And they're busy, you know? Tell me for, look, right here, 30. And 2.35. And look at that insanely high heat, the way, oh, look at that. Ning gong. And look at that insanely high heat. When you get that oil, that high heat, the egg starts to just crispify and just become crunchy. Nam <laughs> Yeah. You see, he uses a lot of oil, but look at the discoloration on that. Look at that high heat was doing that. And this is why he has to pre fry some. See, everything's working here. Now, pre fry, still frying and made to order because we got people on both sides here coming in, filling up the chairs. He just opened. And so this will be a little bit different. Watch this. So what I did is I ordered mine long down. So that's going to mean I'm asking pretty much for a runny yolk is all I'm asking for. He's going to the scallions on there. And look at that. That's fried up pork belly. This ain't, this ain't no diet food, y'all. Even more oil. He's got like a little puddle going on here. He's got that central 
high flame coming from right here. You see my face? I feel like I'm just, oh, so red. Look at that, the color is getting on the maze. Where are we? This is District 3, I think. Cái này là quận 3. Quận 3, quận 7, phường Võ Thị Sáu, quận 3. Phường Võ Thị Sáu, quận 3. À, bán tờ mây ở Đình Mây à? Từ 2 giờ đến 10 giờ. Oh, 2 giờ. Mở 2 giờ. À, con gì 3 giờ. 2 giờ. Ờ, ở đây có mắt nè. Dạ, đất ạ. Một giờ to quá. And that's it. He's going to put some pickled papaya. He's actually got the radish, carrot, and we're going to get a little bowl with some soy sauce in it. We're going to find a seat. Chào hai em. Anh nói được tiếng Việt á? Dạ, một xíu. Go ahead out, go ahead out. Go ahead out. Yeah. Go ahead out. Help him out a little bit here. He's busy. He's a one-person team. Oh, and there's oh. I think he was on the phone earlier talking to somebody. He's like, I need you here. <laughs> He's busy packed. Always so bad. Unfortunately, like I'm leaving soon. That's why I'm making videos on a Sunday, but I do not like making videos on Sunday because sellers are so busy. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Check it out. Woo. Even the utensils have been in the oil, that's hot. And can y'all see the edges of the egg? That is what so many people hail around the world. They say, oh, Thai style fried eggs. Oh my gosh. But look at this, look at here. Vietnam ain't lacking either. Don't act like we can't fry an egg to perfection. The way those proteins have expanded and crispified in that oil. I'm gonna start right here though. I'm gonna break this yolk. Oh, and he's been doing it for over 20 years and look at that. Got that oak done, that yolk, that yolk done just right. Nice runny yolk, chili, that soy sauce. Now you see, we got two types of sauces here. You got like a, a Vietnamese chili style sauce, but to me, I'm all about the, just the pure chilies and oil. I've never asked him, it doesn't have a fragrance like a satay, which would have lemongrass, aromatic ingredients, but to me, that's just a lot of chili and oil, and that's why I love with this. You got God sauce playing all over that, that runny egg yolk getting everywhere, but to me, y'all can't hear that, but it's all about that crunch factor. Mm. And you can probably tell, it gets fatty, heavy, rich, the way he's done. He's taking the papaya, green, got a few pieces that are starting to ripe, but he's pickled it. And to me, he pickles it some of the best. Some people don't pickle it enough, so you just get like bland papaya up this. Mm. Still crunchy, but it just tastes like it's been sitting in a viscous vinegar and sugar mixture. It really pops with sweet and sour juices. And let me tell you something, that is not a job many people want. Hot, summer, humid Saigon day. Yeah, let me go stand close to two central burning jet flame propelling bro propane burners yeah ain't many people that could ain't got the mindset the toughness to stand back there and cook like that mm. oh is this the money bite i think this is what i would pay a dollar fifty for a plate for a hey i'd probably pay five ten dollars for a plate because you know i'm using american standards but look at this egg pork belly lots of scallions chili soy sauce there we go Okay, so <laughs> uh, just he didn't let me pay. Uh, he said one day we'll go eat rice together. So very nice guy. You don't get to see much of him because, like I said, it's Sunday. It's kind of why I don't like Sundays too much because it's so busy. Everybody out playing today. Look, we got all the food shippers coming here and everything. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. I've been making videos like crazy with this GoPro. I know it's not my normal big camera, but I enjoy it. It's more of a relaxed. I hope you all enjoy it as well. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think. If you like GoPro, if you like big camera, I'm back and forth. I like the quality of the big camera, but I love the interactions and just how natural people are with this and the fact that I can bring you more videos. So if I have GoPro video, and maybe you can post two to three times a week instead of one. But So Max, I got to get my bike out of here. See you at the next one.